everyone happy Friday and welcome to this weekend's vlog oh I'm so happy that it is Friday I say this every single vlog but it's literally been a crazy week um, it was freezing this morning I actually had frost on my window this morning um, and then the sun came out and then it was very very nice and so on and so on and now it's raining and uh, I forgot to tell you guys, it's April Fool's Day today and it's Mother Patty's birthday. Uh oh. So, um, oh gosh, people are seriously tweeting right now. So funny, you guys. So, someone contacted me to do an article on comparing candles to all of the people who are trying to get elected and trying to become presidents and all that kind of stuff. And you guys, I, I have to be completely honest. I'm not into politics at all. And when I vote, I'm literally voting for Snooki Louise. I am not voting for any of them because I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. And you guys can thumbs down this video if you want because that's what's happening. I'm voting for Snooki Louise. Snooki Louise for president. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's Mother Patty's birthday. I'm gonna go get her a gift and a card real quick. And um, I am also looking for shelving unit this weekend. I'm at Goodwill right now and I'm actually gonna hope and pray that they have something available um, that I can possibly fit in my trunk here. And um, buy and purchase and everything for my body care for my walk-in closet because I'm trying to quasi-modal everything you guys know this and um, trying to get my life in order you know I mean shit it's got to happen sometime right but anyway um yeah so this article came out I'm, I know I'm jumping all over the place you guys but I'm trying to concentrate here um, on other things but anyway so the article came out you guys and I am just I'm I'm so honored, first of all, that like somebody would actually consider to do an article about me and ask me things. So I took different candle scents and kind of compared them to like Hillary and you know Trump and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, it's funny. I'll put the link down below um, with the article and you guys can check it out. It's just like a small little small little tab bit. But anyway, um yeah. So I'm gonna get all wet from the rain. Okay, you guys, so I actually went into Goodwill and it's sunny out right now. I don't know what the hell the weather is doing, but I found a storage unit for my body care. So I'll be able to use this um, and do all my body care this weekend to get my bedroom done and my bathroom organized you guys I'm so excited about that because I said this for ooh, it's like really tippy turvy I've said this for a long time I have wanted like my goal for my bathroom is after I'm done taking a shower you know doing my hair doing my makeup shaving my legs doing every like single prep thing that I could possibly think of for the day I want my countertop to be spotless and right now I've got hairsprays and all of the mucky luck stuff on the counter and I hate that I absolutely hate that so that is my goal Oh, you guys, look at how pretty the sky is today. Gorgeous. Look at those puppy clouds. It's everything. Hey guys, so I am starting to get everything in this organization thing, this body care organization thing. Um, I'm starting with all of my sugar scrubs on the top along with powder. I know it sounds weird, but the shape of everything is basically what I'm going with. So, okay, top drawer here is pretty much done. Oh, let me turn on the light, hold on. Much better. Okay, so I have all of my bathing garden in the back here on this side of the sugar scrubs. And then because these are basically the same size, um, of tub. I have my body shop body buttons all in the middle. And then over here, I have all of my powders that I use for after showers at nighttime. 
Okay, you guys, we're making progress. So I showed you guys what was up here. Now, in here, I have all of my Crabtree and Evelyn. It goes all the way to the back. And then over here, I've got every single one of my Philosophy shower gels. We've got the six ounce in the front and the 16 ounce um, in the back. And then also there's a cream there and I think there's another body cream in there too somewhere. Hey guys, so I just got done barraging. I made $25 and um, I sold the coach wallet, so that's good. I've been trying to sell the coach wallet for a long time. And $25 I feel is sufficient. I mean, it was an older wallet, but it looked brand new because I'm really, I'm not that hard on my purses at all. So anyway, right now I am planning on getting some din din. I'm not real sure where I'm going to go quite yet. Um, let's see, it's 4.30. Hmm, I know I'm a little bit early, but I didn't eat lunch today. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm pretty much done with my unit. Um, up here I have face masks. I just kind of want to show you guys what I did uh, throughout the day today. Here I have some body, or I'm sorry, some bath items from uh, Moon's Harvest and some other companies. Here I have some skeleton candles. And then this I actually got from my grandmother. It is a cigarette case and I found it. I completely forgot that I had it, but it brings me joy. So I put it up here. And then this is the bath, well, bath and body, I guess, and hands, you know, cabinet that I bought today. Like I said, I bought this for $20 at Goodwill, and that is what it looks like. I think I got an excellent deal, um, believe it or not. But so you open it up and... Like I said, I showed you guys kind of what was in here before. Um, I probably will still do some organization, you know, as I'm going on, but I just kind of wanted to get everything in here. So that's the first shelf. The second shelf is all Philosophy and Crabtree and Evelyn products. The third shelf is actually all hand soaps. And then in that bucket right there, I have some Crabtree and Evelyn um, hand creams. And then down below, I just have some um, bubble baths and also, you know, you'll see um, some Bath and Body Works items in there as well. So that is my cabinet. And now I will show you guys what um, my linen closet looks like in my bathroom. So you guys, just an FYI, this was super bad. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was so, like, some people on Periscope saw what this little closet area looked like. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed it in the vlogs before because I was so embarrassed, but all the items that you guys just saw in the storage unit were in this little area, and here it is. Okay, so here we go. My goal for this area was to just put the items in here that I use every day. So in order for me to take a shower, get ready in the morning, do my hair and makeup, shave my legs, do, you know, all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to have everything in this little, you know, closet area type thing in my bathroom. Um, so it wasn't on the, the countertop because my countertop, I don't have a lot of space. So Let's get in here. Um, and here I have some headbands. I did buy these buckets today at the Dollar Tree. And in here I have my makeup and my brush and my comb. Here I have some lipsticks that just wouldn't fit in the lipstick little container that I have here. It's a little tea container. And I just have all of um, some Bath and Body Works and Philosophy little, you know, lipsticks, um, lip tints, you know, moisturizers, whatever. I have my Say Yes to Blueberries. Here I have my uh, moisturization, moisturization, moisturizer for my face, my Chi, my um, hairsprays. I've got my heat protectant. And then this actually um, Bradley got me. Mr. Bradley, if you guys watch um, Brett and Brad on their vlogs, uh, Bradley is a hairstylist and he got me this because let's face it, my hair was looking awfully brassy and he actually got me this um, as a conditioner. And then over here, I just have 
my straightener, my curling iron, and my blow dryer. Here I've got my deodorant that I use every day. I'm only putting out one lotion. Usually I've got tons of lotion, you guys, in here that, you know, I'm kind of hoarding and using a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I decided just to put one out, and when I'm done using it, I will move on to the next. And then I also um, here have from the Honest Company, this is mouthwash. And then up here on the second shelf, I don't quite know if I'm going to keep these boxes in here or not, but this one is um, actually bar soaps. I don't know if you guys can kind of see in there. A little bit of bar soaps. I have this in the other bathroom and I decided just to move it in here. And then in here, I've got like, and I have to organize this stuff, but I've got a whole bunch of toothpaste, um, extra toothbrushes that are new that I can switch out, some condi hair conditioner, just all kinds of little odds and ends and stuff. Up here, I have my collection of loofahs, so I can just grab a loofah when I am ready. And then over here, I still need to get some containers from the Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree did not have a lot of containers in. So I'm going to have to go back and get some more, but this is just um, perfume samples are in here. I have razors and um, what else do I have in here? Razors and uh, oh, and a little trial size of shaving cream. I'll just put those right there. And then these I just saved because I wasn't sure what I was going to use them for, but I thought, well, they're just going to come in handy. And then I have some makeup brushes. So I would say that this is definitely, you know, an improvement of what I had in here before. Tons of more space for storage and I'm going to go to bed now. Good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. Oh, I am dressed. I am ready to go. I'm going to be recording my Walmart Beauty uh, subscription box today, and then also a product empty. I don't have enough uh, wax empty to do, you know, a wax um, melt empty video, and then I also don't have enough candles to do right now um, for an empty, but that too shall come in time. Right now I'm going to enjoy my coffee and get ready to record. Hey guys, so oh, I just got done filming and I'm trying to figure out what else I can film for this coming week because I really don't have a lot of content. I did, um, as you guys saw, empty out, you know, and go through all of my body care. I think I'm going to show you guys what items I'm getting rid of in my body care that did not bring me joy. You know, I'm, I'm going to be either, like I said, gifting it, throwing it, or if it's a full-size product that I haven't opened yet, selling it. So I'm going to be doing that and... Um, yeah. Oh, and then I have to fill my empties too. Hey guys. So it is Saturday night at like 630 and I'm just relaxing. I'm done uh, finishing with filming everything and editing and getting everything up on my YouTube channel. And now I'm just relaxing. I'm probably going to watch some YouTube videos and try to catch up on all those. I think I have I think the last time I checked, I had like 130 videos that I needed to catch up on just from people who I'm subscribed to. Um, and I have all of my candles lit. And I was going to take a bubble bath and actually film one of the Moon's Harvest uh, products. But somebody wants to virage tonight. And usually when I'm done in the tub, I like to put a muumuu on and just relax. Um... But I don't think that's going to happen tonight until later on because I think this person wants to um, buy something that I've posted. I've also been doing that too. I posted a lot of body care um, for sale and people, it's going, it's going like hotcakes. So that's good. So um, people are interested in that and hopefully that stuff sells soon. 
So yeah, other than that, I've just kind of been relaxing and um, drinking some coffee and listening to some music, relaxing with the dog and yada yada. Good morning and happy Sunday. Hey guys, so it is a gloomy Sunday and there is a little bit of snow on the ground and I am not happy about it. We got about three inches of snow yesterday and it was snowing, then raining, then sunny, then snowing, then sunny, then snowing, then sunny. It was crazy. The groundhog lied. He is a liar and a cheater and he was not being honest about his shadow, but anyway, what am I doing today? I have so much I have to do, you guys. I should have been more proactive with my week on yesterday, but I just needed the time to relax. Um, so I think I'm going to be doing three virages today. Two for sure, hopefully. Um, so I'm selling some beauty product samples. Um, another one was an Aveda toning mist for the face and a lot of guinea pig stuff that I had purchased for when I was fostering. And I feel bad, but I just, I don't have any more time to foster. I've been so busy with YouTube and work and Snooki and just viraging and trying to get my life together that I just, I can't foster right now. So I'm going to be selling some of like my huts, my guinea pig magazines, just kind of stuff that I bought on my own that I've accumulated um, throughout this time. But anyway, and what else do I have to do? I need to go to the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree in my city has been slacking on the summer organization bins. Um, I belong to some Dollar Tree groups on Facebook and people have been posting all of these beautiful color bins um, and I can't find them anywhere in my store. I go, I went on Friday and they said that the bins were in the back and they haven't been placed out yet. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to wait for Saturday, you know, let them do their thing on Saturday, call on Sunday. I called this morning. They said that everything is still in the back and they haven't gotten to it yet. So it looks like I'm going to have to go to Menasha. I just called there and they do also have the fabric beads, um, the guy said in Menasha. So I don't know. We'll see about that. So dollar store, organization, virage. I screwed up on my YouTube this morning, you guys. I felt so stupid. So I scheduled videos and I accidentally scheduled, like on, I have a calendar that I, you know, mark everything down and I'm usually pretty organized, but um, I put a video on the calendar for two days, for Sunday and I think Wednesday, I had the same video scheduled and I'm like, okay. And then all of a sudden I got a tweet saying, where's your video? It's not up. And this was like at nine o'clock. I'm like, oh shit, I must have screwed up. So I thought that I had enough videos up until Friday. I don't, I only have enough videos up until like Thursday. So I have to make, I have to think of a Thursday video and a Friday video uh, to put out, but my life. I'll do, I'll probably do a Dollar Tree haul. That's what I'll do. I'll do a Dollar Tree summer bin haul um, after I go shopping today. But yeah, so that's kind of what's going on with me. I'm going to go get some coffee now. Hey guys, so it is 1240 on Sunday and I'm on my way to KFC. I'm going to get some chicken because I'm hungry for chicken. I think I'm just going to get, um, the boneless, skinless chicken breast, and then maybe a side of mashed potato because everyone needs a mashed potato in their life. And this guy is really on my ass right now. Why are you so on my ass, mister? Anyway, and um, yeah, we're going to go do that right now. And then Mother Patty, like I said, is picking me up around um, 4 o'clock. We're gonna go to the Dollar Tree. And that's pretty much what's been happening. I did just end up viraging. I viraged some face care, like um, high-end face care, Estee Lauder, Lacombe. Um, what other company was there? Oh, Aveda. Um, all the products, all the products, all the samples and the products. So I viraged that and yeah did all that stuff and now I'm just on my way what the hell some guy 
was on my ass and he was looking at me funny and it was concerning me and I don't like it. Who are these people? What is happening? What is going on with life? Oh gosh, you guys. So I just had lunch at KFC and they allowed me to dine in the lobby. And people were coming and their lobby was closed and people were coming and coming. And I almost ran outside with a bucket of chicken on my head and it was horrible. The chicken was really good. Hey guys, so it is later and I'm just waiting for Mother Patty to pick me up so we can go to the Dollar Tree. Um, but oh my goodness, you guys, I've been kind of moving furniture around in my room, trying to rearrange, and I'm having a problem um, with the Marie Kondo style of um, organization. She wants you to keep everything within, like everything that, um, like let's say candles. She wants you to keep all of your candles together in one area. Well, I'm having a problem with that because I have so many candles, I don't think all of my candles can fit into one room. Snooky feels the same way. drama. So I went to the Dollar Tree with Mother Patty and came home with all of my bags or whatever and I was going to film right away because it's kind of sunny out right now and I left my phone and my purse in her car. So she is gallivanting around the city. I have no phone to call her to let her know that she's got my purse and my phone and I finally got it back now. I'm so exhausted you guys. I feel like I'm getting sick. Uh, my throat is hurting a little bit and my ears are starting to hurt a little bit. I don't know if it's my TMJ or whatever the hell I got diagnosed with or if I'm coming down with something. I don't know. But I'm going to go home and then I might go out for a car ride later on with Snooky, and I might um, film the sunset. I just want to get her out of the house for a little bit, relax a little bit and, you know spend some time with the pooch. Hey little miss. Are you sitting in your car seat? Yeah. Oh. So the sunset was on the other side of the park. So unfortunately, we weren't able to park and watch the sunset. But I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this weekend. Um, Snooky is exhausted. I want to go home and just take a bath and relax. I'm going to be filming some moon harvest, uh, bath bombs, and all that kind of stuff hopefully this week. And... Yeah, don't forget to watch all of the Snapchats at the end of this vlog. And I hope you guys all had an awesome, uh, awesome weekend. So I'll see you guys all soon. Bye-bye.
got something to say, you should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings, but you have to admit I already do. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. Your rhythm is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you 